welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be making a omelet in salsa en pato, or like I like to call it, a wet omelet. Stay tuned in and I'll show you how to make it. Okay guys, and I wanted to provide just a little pro tip for you. Every time you dice your jalapenos, make sure to wear gloves to make sure that uh, if you rub your eye, your eye doesn't burn. So for our wet omelet, these are the ingredients that I have. You can put whatever toppings or ingredients you like in your wet omelet, but this is uh, what I want. I have some bacon crumbles, just enough for one omelet. I have the salsa el pato. I have a little bit of diced jalapeno. I have one fourth of an onion, but for my omelet, I'm just going to be putting like a tablespoon. It, it pretty much depends on how much onion you like in your omelet. But again, one fourth total onion. Some of it is going to be used in the sauce. I'm gonna be mixing in about three tomatoes and a fourth of a cup of onion in my sauce to top the omelet. And then I have about a quarter cup of cheese, which is a serving size. I have three eggs scrambled and I season this with a teaspoon of salt to taste. And then I also put in a little bit of this white pepper. So let's go ahead and get started with frying up the jalapeno and the onion. I'm going to lightly saute the jalapeno and the onion just until uh, lightly brown and fragrant. Okay, so now that our jalapeno and our onion is starting to brown and get fragrant, we're gonna go ahead and start making our salsa to top our wet omelet off. Okay, so we're gonna be boiling the tomatoes just until they uh, change color and the skin starts to uh, come off of the tomato. We're, again, we're gonna be using the tomatoes, the three tomatoes that I boiled and then we're gonna be using the remainder of the onion. So once this jalapeno and onion is completely browned, light browned, then we're gonna go ahead and turn off the burner and start making our salsa. Okay, so we're gonna be putting our tomatoes into the blender and try not to get so much of the water into the blender. Uh, there's plenty of water inside of the tomatoes. So just like that. And then we're gonna add our can of salsa el pato. The salsa already has uh, salt, but I like to just put a little bit of uh, chicken bouillon powder. I'm also going to be putting just a, a tiny bit of a pinch of oregano. It gives it a good, uh, rich flavor. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of granulated garlic and also a little bit of granulated onion powder. This is totally optional. You don't have to do it, but if you want um, a richer flavor to your salsa, you can just add this real quick. Oh, we're also gonna be adding the onion. We're also gonna be adding the rest of the uh, onion, one fourth of a cup. Now we're gonna go ahead and blend this. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn back on our burner and then we're going to go ahead and add the egg, the cheese and the bacon. So we're gonna go ahead and let that cook for a little bit. To speed up the process and evenly cook the egg in the middle of the omelet, I like to put a lid on top of the pan just for a little bit while um, it cooks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my bacon crumbles and also my cheese. I like to put the ingredients uh, mostly on one side because I'm gonna be actually folding the eggs over it and making the omelet. So again, once I flip over the, or fold the omelet, 
we're gonna go ahead and pour the sauce in here to stew the sauce and cook the sauce in the omelet. Again, we're making a wet omelet, and yeah, looking forward to this. Okay, so now I folded over the omelet and I'm gonna be adding the sauce so it can start cooking. Just as much as you need for one omelet is fine. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to uh, stir it a little bit and once the sauce changes color, then it's going to be ready to eat. Okay, so once the sauce has thickened, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the blender and just plate the omelet. Here's the finished product. The omelet sauce looks amazing and I went ahead and topped it off with some cheese. I hope you give this recipe a try and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.